Our biscuit makers are extremely important. They're vital to the success of our breakfast program. Not too many businesses out there truly make a made from scratch biscuit. We do over 40% of our sales in breakfast and everyone comes to get that made from scratch homemade biscuit. Crystal, who is our champion this year, she truly cares about her customer. She makes a perfect biscuit for them. She wants to make them happy. In order to get a good biscuit, you have to follow all the procedures. And Crystal is excellent at what she does. My name is Crystal Link, and I'm from Floyd, Virginia. And I just won the Biscuit Bake Off Challenge for Hardee's. Oh, I was very surprised. I couldn't believe it. I never thought in a million years that I would win. My favorite biscuit's probably the steak biscuit. That's been my favorite since I was a little kid. I was probably about three years old when I wanted to start helping in the kitchen. My mom pulled me up to the kitchen table and she would have me start rolling out the biscuits and cutting them. So I've been making biscuits since I was really little. I'd say each day I probably make around three or 400 biscuits. On some of our busier days, it might be more than that. For the final level of competition that I've done so far, I went to the home office. The competition can be pretty nerve wracking. Um, you've got people watching over your shoulder while you make biscuits. And so you're looking at them and you're trying to figure out if this one's a perfect circle and if this one's tall enough. And you have to wait to find out the results. And that's probably the most nerve wracking part is waiting. And when they called my name, I just couldn't believe it. The first person I called was my district manager and I told him I had won and he called the rest of my restaurant to let them know and we started getting text messages in congratulating me almost immediately. We have very specific standards for what our biscuits should look like. The secret to making a really good biscuit is caring about it and caring that it's something that can really change a person's outlook on their day. If they wake up and have that fresh hot biscuit and it sets the right tone for the day, then their whole day might be better. I get up about 2.30 in the morning and I get there before four o'clock and go in and start making biscuits. You get your biscuit mix and your flour and your buttermilk and everything. You pour your buttermilk into your biscuit mix and get it mixed up good, but not overwork. And then you flour your table and everything good. And then you roll it out on the table and cut your biscuits out. And bake them for eight minutes. And hopefully they come out that perfect golden brown. They literally make everything from scratch, from putting the flour in the bowl, to mixing it, to rolling it, to cutting it, to baking it. And they just want to give a great product to their customers. The perfect biscuit is going to be nice and fluffy on the inside and nice and browned on the outside so that you've got something that'll hold together well. But as soon as you bite into it, you've got that warm fluffiness. When you open that biscuit up, you've got to see that burst of steam. It's got to have just the right amount of butter on it. It's got to be the perfect height, perfect weight, perfect diameter. When you put it in your mouth, it's like tasting your grandma's biscuit that you used to get when you were growing up. A lot of love and attention goes into my biscuits. I never thought I would be baking biscuits competitively. They've always known I could do it even when I didn't think I could. We could not survive without our biscuit makers. We love them. We want to keep them forever.